A Get It Done app is now getting some nationwide praise, but some San Diegans are questioning its effectiveness. Get It Done is essentially a one-stop portal, which you can access through a smartphone app or website, and it allows users to report what needs fixing in their community. But as CBS 8's Richard Allen finds, a growing backlog of reports is leading to growing frustrations. Well, that's right. Well, the Get It Done app is getting national recognition for its customer service. Some San Diegans are still frustrated with the program's overall results. Thousands of San Diegans already know how to get it done. When the city of San Diego first launched its Get It Done app back in 2016, users could submit complaints on just 20 different issues, from potholes to graffiti. That's now expanded to more than 50 services, with over 1,000 daily reports. It made it easier to function instead of going through all the, you know, click, click, click on the computer and all of that. And that ease of functionality has grabbed the attention of Customer Service Week's Engage 311 one award of excellence, an annual nationwide conference that has named San Diego a finalist for a customer service center that improves local government, praising its Get It Done app and website for its innovation and community engagement. Okay, okay, well I'm glad everything got resolved. Recognizing its improvements over the years, including an updated app for Spanish speakers and a publicly accessible website to donate personal protective equipment. I just feel like I'm caught in a bureaucracy of, of, of broken promises. But not all San Diegans are as enthusiastic about the results of their get it done reports, frustrated by long wait times for the city to take action. Earlier this week, this resident of Rolando told CBS 8 that over the past three years, he's filed more than 1,600 complaints through get it done to try to get his neighborhood cleaned up with no action to date. The kind of the can gets, gets kicked down the road uh, with, with no resolution and no resolution in sight. And just yesterday, CBS 8 spoke with residents in this Pacific Beach neighborhood who've been complaining for the past year and a half about these street lights that never turn off. And I've sent a couple of requests to the city through the Get It Done app, and uh, they, they respond a few months later and say that it's been taken care of. However, the lights continue to burn. In response, the city says it has a backlog of 5,000 requests to repair streetlights, taking on average 272 days to fix them, citing a shortage of electricians, currently only 11. And the city has budgeted for a total of 18 electricians and says it is working to hire more.